Hello everybody, uh, today in this video I'm going to teach you how to calculate the estimated date of uh, delivery and I'm going to go through all sorts of examples. Okay, here you, have, you can see I've written all the 12 months in a year. We have January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Okay, and I'm going to teach you a best way to calculate the estimated date of delivery and I'm going to give you several examples. Okay. So let's get started. So the best way to calculate the estimated date of delivery is adding nine months, nine in months, and seven in days. Okay, we had nine in months and seven in days, and we are also going to see what are all their variations. Okay, so let's, uh, for example, example one. So for example one, let's say our date is um, January. Let's say let's start from here, January third. 2020 okay so let's say it's uh, January 3rd 2020 now always write your date uh, in MDY format MDY so we have the month in the first day here and year here okay so let's write them N month January which means one right day we have three and year is 2020 okay now let's apply this formula here we add nine in months add add and seven in days and we leave the year as the same, right? So what it's it's ten months. We have uh, ten days, and the year is 2020. So the estimated date of delivery is uh, ten means um, October 10, 2020. This is the estimated date of delivery. I'm so sorry, <laughs> I forgot to mention that. You this is the date I'm given here. This is the first day of the last last menstrual period okay you need to know the first day of the last menstrual period why first day because uh, it's the day that uh, women, you know women usually remember okay so you need to have your first day of the last menstrual period date remembered okay okay so let's say uh, let's go for another example let's say your uh, the last first day of the last menstrual period is same January in, but instead of uh, January 3 let's say it's January 29 okay January 29 2020 now what's the estimated date of delivery okay so let's write them again in MDY format so M January is one month 29 uh, is a day and we have 2020 yeah so let's again apply the formula we have add nine in months and seven in days and we leave the year same so here is 2020 the month is 10 and if you come here, <coughs> it's something odd here, okay? If, because if you add 29 plus 7, it's um, what's 36, yeah? But we don't have 36 days in, in any month, right? That's very odd. So what to do in this case? In this case, you just break it down. 36 days means you break down into 30, right? And you write the remaining as 6. What's 30? 30 days means one month, right? One month and remaining six days but is this the column for month no is this is the column for days only right so we take this month over here so we have one month now let's do all the remaining calculations 10 plus 1 is 11 we have remaining day 6 we write here 6 and then the year is 2020 so this is November 6 2020 this is the estimated date of delivery if your last menstrual period is January 29 2020 right you, uh, you break down the days the excess amount of days into 30 and 6 you convert 30 days into one month and you add this one month into the here into this month column right okay now let's go for another example um let's say your uh, last menstrual period is um december let's go to the very last okay is december 1st um let's not say first december 3rd 2019 okay december 3rd 2019 let's write them in mdy format mdy december means 12 right we have third and we have 2019 now let's add nine months and seven days in and then let's do the calculations so the year is same 2019 right the day we have 7 plus 3 10 days and if you come here it's it's something odd like 
12 plus 9 is um, 21. Yes, it's 21, right? But we don't have 21 months in a year. We only have 12, right? So what to do? Again, let's break them down, just like we did with the days. 21 months. So break them into 12 months, which means one year, right? 12 months mean one year. And the remaining months, how many months remaining? Obviously, nine, nine months remaining, right? And so here we have nine, oh, sorry, one year plus nine months. 12 months means 1 year, right? 1 year plus 9 months, 10 days in 2019. But is this the column for month, uh, sorry, year? No, this is the column for months only, right? So we take this year and we put it into here, 1 year. So we add this. Now the remaining month is 9 month, day we have 10, and the year we have 2019 plus 1 is 2020. So the estimated date of delivery here is 9 means um, September 10. 2020 if your last menstrual period is December 3rd 2019 now again let's move on to more complicated one let's say your last menstrual period is um, um, November let's say November 28 2018 okay so if your last menstrual period is November 28 2018 November which is 11 here MDY format Day is 28 and year we have 2018 Right, so let's do again. We had nine months here. We had seven days and let's calculate Right the year comes same 2018 The days if you add this the days are access right 28 plus 7 means um, How many 35 yes 35 and 11 plus 9 means 20 right so both the months and the days are in access let's break them down we break down days as 30 plus remaining is 5 right 30 is one month and remaining five days again let's also break down the months here 20 months right but we can't have 20 months we only have 12 months and the remaining is eight months here so how to calculate this one right now so let's start with the days, the smaller one, okay? So five days, but this is not the column for months, right? So we take this month, one month, and we add it up to here, one month, right? And here you can see 12 months, right? 12 months means one year, but we can't have year in a column for month, right? So we need to take this one year and add it to the year column here, one year, <laughs> okay? So let's do the calculation in the year. We have 2018 plus 1 is 2019. Days, we only have 5 days remaining, right? So 5 days and month. We have 8 months remaining plus 1, we have 9 months. So the estimated date of delivery for November 28, 2018 is 2019. 9 means September 5. September 5, 2019 is the estimated date of delivery. Now there is also another technique um, for the estimated date of delivery. I like to teach you. Okay, if your LMP or the last menstrual period, sorry, if your LMP last menstrual period is uh, later than March, okay, means if your LMP is within this box here, of April, April to December, then you can calculate this in a very easy way. Right. Okay. Let's take uh, this very same example. Let's November 28, 2000, 2018. Okay. Let's take the same example. So we have um, November 28, 2018. Right. So in this uh, method, what you need to do is you need to deduct three from months. Okay. Deduct three from months. Add seven in days right and add one in year okay so three from months add seven in days and add one in year let's do it so we have uh, mdy november means 11 we have 28 days and then 2018 let's do this we need to subtract 3 from the month, so minus 3, right? Add 7 in days, 
plus 7 here and add 1 in here so plus 1 okay and then let's calculate year we have 2019 months we have 28 plus 7 again we have excess months that's 35 and then uh, sorry excess days and months we have uh, how many it's 8 right so we have 8 months so we have days in excess so again let's break them down 30 days plus 5 days 30 days means 1 month plus 5 days so month goes here 1 right and then let's calculate 8 plus 1 is 9 we have remaining 5 days here and then 2019 now let's look at the previous result you can see it both are oh, sorry previous result you can see the same right 9 months 5 days and 2019 we also have a 9 month 5 days and 2019 and this method here this reducing 3 month 3 from month 7 from days and 1 in year is uh, applied only in case of uh, these months here okay april to december and, uh, you can apply the same same formula in these uh, months as well but you need to consider them as right suppose uh, we need to start from if december is the 12th month then january becomes the 13th month february becomes 14th and march becomes 15th okay let's take this example here january 3rd 2020 where we got the estimated date of october 10 2020 right so let's take this date here and let's apply this formula okay so we have um january 3rd 2020 right so m d y where month is 1 3 and 2020 so we need to reduce uh, and as I already said that you need to consider January as month 13 right so instead of 1 we'll write 13 here okay so we need to reduce 3 from month 3 from month add 7 in days and add 1 in year so we'll reduce 3 from month add 7 in days and add 1 in year okay so 3 from month it's 10 add 7 days but in case of January, February and March, in this month, you should not add these, okay? Because we have already added this month to this part here. This is the year part into this month, so, okay? No adding of year in here, so the year remains the same here. So the answer is um, October 10, 2020. And the same answer is over here also. October 10, 2020. So this is how you can uh, calculate your estimated date of delivery very easily. Thank you.